you ever get those days where you just can't be bothered? Trust me, trust me, and I'm being serious, I get them a lot too. But you know what the real difference is between people who can't be bothered and do nothing, and people who can't be bothered and me, and hopefully you? The real difference is that those people don't have enough motivation tent pegs in their toolbox to help get them out of the door and get them exercising. It's as simple as that. Everybody can choose how motivated they want to be, but they have to choose it. So here's what we're going to do this week. Today, the task for you, the actual task, is that I want you all to go out for a run. If you don't intend on doing a run, and I mean this seriously, just turn the video off now, this video's not for you. Okay, and I get it, some people aren't runners, and I'm not asking you to run a long way. But the reason I'm asking you to do a run is because the tips that I'm gonna teach you, today, you're gonna use them to get you out on a run, and you may never run again. You might not be a runner, and you might say, I'm never gonna run again, and you know what, that's up to you. But, you might use the tips that I'm gonna teach you today, the motivation tools, to be able to get up, get out there, and do something that you want to do, but on some days you might find hard. Now, it could be cycling, it could be swimming, it could be sport of any kind, it could be just getting out of the door. We all have our bad days. But with these five tips that I'm gonna teach you, and they are perfect to use as temp pegs to put in your toolbox, you will be, even for work, believe it or not, some of these will be a way of making yourself do some stuff, of overriding that natural urge to just go, uh, which I think we all kinda wanna do, really. But I'm gonna teach you a way out of it, okay? Are you ready? You need a pen and paper for the tip number one. Okay, so go grab a pen and paper. Tip number one, which you're gonna do right now, is called an implementation intention. You take something you want to do, in this case a run, and you write down everything you can about the activity. When in the day you're gonna do it, where are you gonna go, how far or how long will you go, everything you can think of. Be specific, and guess what? Simply by writing it down, scientists have found that you are 90% more likely to follow through on the activity that you want to do when you've just written it down. So pause the video here and write down as much as you can think of about the run that you're gonna do once the video has stopped. And that is motivation hack number one, the implementation intention. Now, it gets to the day, you're sitting down, you're really not feeling it, you've written your implementation intention so you're much more likely to do it, but let's just say that you're still not motivated. Here's the next hack, it's called the five second rule. And I'm gonna go and sit on the sofa to demonstrate it because it's usually what happens to me. Ah, here I am back in a spot that I don't sit in enough but I wish I sat in more. The implementation intention is your one thing that's gonna start giving you the chance of getting out, but what you really need is a way of getting your bum moving, the actual physical act of doing. So, a five second rule is simply, it is almost exactly what it says. You're sitting down, you're not feeling it. There is a trick, a mind trick that works, and what you do is, if you think, for my example would be, oh, I need to go for a run. I'm sitting here thinking, I don't wanna go for a run. Countdown from five to zero, and you have to move before zero. I'll tell you why. When you get to zero, your brain usually gives you five seconds to be active or not active. It gives you that period, and after five seconds, if you do not physically move, it shuts down the urge you had. So let's say I wanted to go running, and I count down from five and I get to zero and I do nothing, I'm not going running. The brain's won, it shut you down, it's kept you comfortable. If, however, you even just stand up before you get to zero, you are on your way, you'll get out training. So anytime you wanna do anything, implement the five second rule, and I guarantee you it will work. It is a brain override hack. It gets you just doing, without even thinking about why you're doing. It just gets you moving by moving. So, this is the next one. I want you to sit down, and I want you to kind of think, well, I'm not sure I wanna do it. Five second rule, five, four, three, two. I've got to move, I'm on my way. Right, you've implemented the five second rule. You've got yourself changed, you've moved, that's the start. But what happens next? What about what you want to do? And how are you going to commit to keep doing it whoast you're out there? Well, it's something called the 10 minute rule. And it's another 
psychological hack. And it's as simple as it sounds. What you do is before you go out to exercise, you commit to doing 10 minutes of that exercise. Simple as that. It doesn't matter whether the exercise is gonna take 15 minutes or one hour. You say, I'll do 10 minutes and then I'll see how I feel. And if you get to 10 minutes and you're still not feeling it, you're allowed to turn around guilt-free and come home. Just quit the session. Guess what will happen? You almost never quit your body actually starts releasing endorphins early on and you won't quit. So once you've done the 10 minute rule, once you're out there, once you've tricked your mind and body into letting you get out there, you're gonna stay out there. So that is the 10 minute rule. Come on, I was never gonna stop after 10 minutes, was I? The fourth hack is a visual reward system that will keep you coming back. All you need is a calendar or even on your phone and a green pen. And after every workout, just put a big green tick over it and watch the green build up over time. It's your reward and it's a motivator. On some days, you might have to put a red cross where you don't quite make a session, but the aim should always be no two red crosses in a row and then you'll watch the green build over time. Oh! Change now and the last of the motivational tools I'm going to give you can work in every situation but I'm going to leave it to you to work out how you can adapt it. For me, the way that I do it is I plan long term. I put races in in the future, I book them in, I know that I have them there that I'm training for. So it could be for you that let's say it's May now and you want to build up to doing a good park run in... August, whether they're back or not, forget the fact that at the moment we're locked down, just aim for a 5k in August perhaps, and then suddenly you have something locked in in the future, a goal that holds you accountable, that keeps you training. My current goals this summer, and they won't change, I'll still do the races on the days, whether I'll do it officially or not. I have Ironman Copenhagen in August, London Marathon in October, and New York Marathon in November and I'm gonna do those races anyway. It gives me something to train towards and it keeps me training, it keeps me motivated to train. So that is the fifth motivational tool, long-term race lockdown or something of that nature. Call it whatever you want. Right, that's it. That's it for Temp Peg Thursday. Listen, these are really important motivational tools that I've given you and they genuinely work. They are backed up by experiments and science and the fact is that even if you just give them a try, you might surprise yourself. So today, like I say, I really want you to try and go for a run. It doesn't have to be a long run, but use the implementation intention that we did at the start of the video to start the process. Then use the five second rule just before you're supposed to get up and go for the run to go and get changed. Use the 10 minute rule to keep you out there and then use the visual tracking, the green tick, to make you feel good about what you've just done because believe you me, if you see a lot of green ticks on a calendar, you're gonna feel happy. And then if you wanna keep coming back long term, time and time again, then all you need to do is book something long term. And that can, that literally can translate to anything. It doesn't have to be a physical thing. If you wanna go and read your book, but you find yourself sitting on a tablet and you're getting frustrated with yourself, five second rule. Just count down from five, you have to go and read your book. You have to put the tablet down. As long as you move before you get to zero, then you've beaten it. Then you have overridden what your brain wants to do, which is shut you down. You've got this, you know that, right? These are all tools that hopefully you can use for life and you can tell other people about. So go do that and have a really good Thursday. And I'll see you tomorrow for the live Freestyle Friday. Cannot wait.